All right. Well, it looks like it's a uh, quarter after the hour. Let's uh, we'll get started. Uh, good morning. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to the Vidamo Virtual Classroom um, session regarding uh, reaching and engaging more students. My name is Frank Ramondi. I am uh, responsible for U.S. business development in with Vidamo, uh, based in Portland, Oregon. Uh, if there's any West Coasters, welcome. Good morning. And uh, anybody on the East Coast, a good afternoon. And everybody in between, it's, I guess it's still morning. So um, thank you for, for joining. We are recording this session. So if you um, or have to leave early, or if you uh, come in late, you'll be able to have uh, seen this as well. Um, it's a pleasure to participate with uh, with you and the Canvas Partnership Day. We are a brand new partner to to uh, to Canvas. We were at InstructureCon this summer just as a participant, uh, but uh, we are very excited about the partnership that we're we're uh, engaging with and and. and Really appreciate your participating and attending today. Um, we are going to be uh, in a sort of a not in a normal virtual classroom format. We'll be more of a webinar, so uh, we'll be presenting out. You'll be able to hear and see us, but we won't be able to see or hear you. Um, but we will hear from you via chat. So there is a, a, um, a chat button. We'd love to get your comments, get your questions. Uh, we'll be answering questions a little bit along the way and, and should have plenty of time at the end. So we would really lo love to, to, to provide that for you. So um, again, thank you for thank you for attending. Uh, the, inter the agenda today is basically we can do a little bit introductions. We're going to introduce you as well to the kind of the extended virtual classroom and what that means from an interactivity and, and also ultimately why of Adamo and what we've done from a development standpoint from with with teachers by teachers and with students along the way um, with them as a as a education focused development not a, any coming from other commercial application this is a truly educational development developed program and so we're going to cover through that we're going to give you a couple success stories we're going to have a live uh, user from um, uh, Verdamo from Europe as well. That'll be joining us, Eva Boscovic, and um, we will uh, have her talk a little bit about what uh, what she's using, what she likes about it, and how it works for her. Um, and then uh, we'll um, talk a little bit about the the Canvas integration and what we've done there, and and how you can, uh, as a Canvas user, easily integrate in uh, the Verdamo virtual classroom onto your standpoint. So um, then we'll close with some Q&A. And if we go beyond the 30 minutes, we'll continue answering questions um, uh, that, that have come up. And uh, so please don't hesitate to ask a question about deployment, about usage, about uh, colors, or <laughs> whatever you want to do. We, we want to hear your questions. So um, with that, Veronica, let me hand it over to you, and uh, we'll, we'll get it going. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Frank, for this introduction. Uh, and it's a great pleasure to participate in Canvas Partnership Day. I will begin uh, the webinar with some facts and some data from the educational world. So let's see what's the situation in the recent year. Uh, currently, the student-teacher ratio is growingly increasing. For example, in 2008, it was 15.3. In 2017, it is 16.1. 48 states and the District of Columbia uh, do not have enough teachers in math, special education, science, foreign languages. And at the same time, uh, many U.S. educators teach the greatest numbers of hours per week, and they don't have enough time for planning, for pre preparation, for self-improvement, and they work with above average uh, class sizes. Uh, you see this number here, 3 million. These are the prediction. Then in the next decade, the school-going population will increase with 3 million students. So um, how do the uh, traditional schools and the providers of traditional training uh, handle this issue? Uh, one of the solutions is blended learning. Uh, blended learning in most cases is uh, the combination of self-paced learning, self-paced online courses, and traditional teaching. Uh, but here, the right balance between the two teaching modalities is uh, very important. Because when we don't have budget, when we don't have enough resources like teachers and facilities, 
Most of the content is delivered online uh, in self-paced online courses. And there are only several options uh, for the students to meet in person with their peers and teachers. And what is the result? Uh, the research and the studies shows that uh, when the learners participate in primarily self-paced online courses, uh, the completion rate is only 25%. When there are more options for life interaction, the percent is 75. You see uh, what, what is the difference. But still, if we don't have enough budget, if we don't have enough teachers, if we don't have enough facilities, how can we uh, provide our students with options for life interaction? So one of the solution is uh, to combine the self-paced co courses with live online training. And this can be done with uh, tools uh, with video, video conferencing. And here the question is, is uh, every video conferencing tool capable to provide quality teaching and learning? Eva has a lot of experience uh, teaching online, a lot of experience with uh, different platforms. So Eva, what do you think about this? Well, I would say that they're definitely not all the same, um, especially the ones that are not made specifically for teaching and learning. I feel like a lot of video conferencing uh, tools are really good for exactly that, video conferencing. But um, this kind of soft software and platform that we have here with Vedamo, um, I feel like this is the best option because you get both, as you said, the self-paced um, option and the live interactive um, video conferencing which is then where you have this whiteboard and then you can see everything that's on it it's perfect for teaching and learning online thank you thank you very much eva i will show you here another picture uh, this picture can be seen in many traditional classrooms Board students uh, nodding uh, off, gazing somewhere, testing, uh, texting, scrolling their smartphones. And uh, one of the reasons is uh, the attention span. Uh, a Microsoft study shows that since the year of 2000, the, the average attention span dropped from 12 to 8 seconds. Uh, at the same time, 45% of the student's day is spent listening. And the students uh, are expected to acquire 85% of the knowledge through listening. And the result is this here. Uh, so what can we do? Uh, we can use uh, various instructional approaches. Uh, we can combine various teaching methods and uh, we can conduct different activities with our students, especially those uh, who are uh, engaging them. Uh, when they are engaged, when they participate actively, their motivation goes up and uh, the results are much better. Uh, and when we want to um, conduct online training, then uh, the, the environment uh, we use should uh, provide us with opportunities to uh, realize, uh, to conduct various uh, types of activities, to use uh, various uh, formats of the teaching materials so that we will be able to engage and keep the attention of our students. Yeah, and that's, that's actually, you know, that's a huge element there. And I think that, that re, the, the, you know, the statistics of the, both the attention span and the, the engagement, you know, what that does to the, to the, to the student involvement and just participation is, is, is amazingly high. And I think really um, what I'm excited about with this tool is, is, uh, is how that, how that can happen. So um, it, maybe you can, you know, let, let's go to the next section. If you can uh, some show us, you know, a little bit more how, Vidamo uh, virtual classroom addresses these issues, um, but just one reminder: if people have questions or if they um, want to make comments, please use the the chat window, and we'll uh, be answering questions along the way or or at the end. So, um, go ahead, Veronica. Thank you. 
Thank you, Frank. Uh, so I'm going to show you now uh, the key features of uh, Vedamo Virtual Classroom. And uh, I invite you uh, to book a free live demo and uh, learn even more because we don't have much time today to cover all uh, the, the functionalities and all the things you can do with Vedamo Virtual Classroom. Uh, first of all, um, the communication uh, and the interaction between the teacher and the participants in Vedamo happens through video conference connection. In the premium version, you can uh, have up to 25 active participants with simultaneous video conference connection. Uh, now we are only three, but you can imagine if we are 25, it will be like a grid with our uh, video um, windows. Um, but uh, besides the video conference connection, uh, there are many tools for collaboration and for uh, teacher control of the participants. So we already mentioned the whiteboard, this place here. It's great that uh, we can share various types of materials on the whiteboard, like PDF files, PowerPoint presentations, uh, images, uh, tables, and uh, other stuff. But we also can collaborate on the whiteboard. We can write, we can draw, we can edit content, we can create content together. And now I will show you this example of an exercise and uh, we'll ask Eva and Frank just to fill in one or two sentences and uh, show how th this can happen in real time, okay? Of course, so I'll do the one and two, is that all right? And then... Great. Maybe Frank can do the next one. So this is only one example. Actually, you can uh, do different games, uh, not only fill in the gaps, you can even uh, do puzzles on, on the whiteboard. Great. Did we pass? You're... <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're passed, <laughs> definitely. You're good All at right. English. So, Another tool uh, is the media player. You can share with your participants audio and video materials in the uh, media player, as well as uh, links from YouTube, which is uh, very uh, comfortable for the teacher. Just copy the link and share it with the participants. I will just uh, play two seconds to see how it looks like. Okay, just example. And, uh, and Veronica, we do have a couple of questions, I think kind of relevant to the last little section there. Okay. So, uh, Yang had asked if all the features of Vidamo available in this webinar. Um, and now, well, we're going to show you all the features, but uh, you won't be able to actually uh, drive them direct. So, um, but we, we, we can set up a, a live demo and yeah. we'd be happy yeah. to do that. We'll have your contact in our. In our Contact information at the at the end, and then um, there was another question: Can we cut and paste on the whiteboard? Yes, you can. You can. We have this uh, function. Actually, uh, all our participants uh, today they are only observers, and uh, they don't have access to the tools of on the of the whiteboard. But this is the webinar version of uh, Vedamo. This is not uh, the version of the uh, interactive. Uh, virtual Great. class. And one, 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 one more question I think is, is critical important here is, is can you give the ability to the students to upload and share stuff, which I think yes, is a yes. huge feature here. So please describe that. Maybe you can share that or Ava can when in her section. I think that's at a critical yes, point. Yes, actually, here. Frank, you're uh, a student in this virtual classroom, but I gave you presenter role. So now you can change the slides on the whiteboard. You can also upload your own presentation and present it in front of uh, the teacher and the other students. So yes, I will show you the teacher's control and how you can do this. Just okay. And a, 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 let Eva be the better student than me. I'm. 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 Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she's more prepared. Uh, great. Uh, 
we, we will not have time for uh, your presentations, so I can continue with mine. Uh, yeah. I, I just wanted to, to share one of my favorite uh, features in Venomo. These are the so-called breakout rooms. Um, these are like uh, yeah. virtual collaboration classrooms within the virtual classroom. This means that when you work with uh, a group of nine students, for example, you can create separate working spaces and give them individual tasks or uh, small group activities. They will not hear and see each uh, other during um, uh, their uh, work in the breakout room, but uh, when they are ready with their task, they can um, uh, copy what uh, they have done and share it with the others in uh, the, the main group here. Uh, and oh, actually, yeah. I think I, Veronica, just I think one of the key elements that I, that I sort of the, the bridge between the virtual classroom and a maybe a traditional one where you have all the students in the classroom. Yeah. The teacher might be going from group to group, and that's a key feature that you, as the teacher, can check on group one and talk with them and make sure they're on pace. If they have questions, you leave that group. You go to the next room, just as if you were in the classroom, going from spot to spot. Now you can do that virtually. And whether people are in the classroom or you know around the world, it doesn't matter. When you're in traditional classroom and uh, make a small group uh, activity, you cannot be sure that the different groups will not uh, hear what the others are doing. While here in this environment, you're sure that they will work separately on their own task. Uh, and actually, because uh, you have uh, access to recording of the session, uh, you can watch the recording and see what uh, has happened in each group during uh, the session. Yeah. That's great. That's a great check back and <laughs> quality control. <laughs> uh, one of the unique features of the Vedamo virtual classroom are the lesson templates. They save a lot of time for preparation. Uh, if you have uh, one and the same lesson with different uh, groups of learner, you can arrange the materials only once. Uh, the materials, I mean the presentation, the exercises, the videos, um, the tables and so on, the images, and save them as a template. And the other time you have the same lesson, you upload the template with only one click of the mouse, which saves a lot of time. Uh, now I am going to share my screen, uh, so you you can see also the screen sharing uh, function, which is great when you have external applications or uh, external multimedia apps uh, which you want to demonstrate to your students, and uh, we'll show you the teacher's control. So. Okay. Can you see my screen now? Yes. Yes, okay. And this is it. This is uh, the teacher's control panel. It's very simple and very intuitive. Uh, here you can allow or deny the access uh, to the different tools in the virtual classroom. So when it's green, it's allowed. When it's red, it's denied. You can do this uh, for the whole uh, group and you can do it for uh, a, one of your participants. Uh, for example, I will just demonstrate you how I can hide the whiteboard and we will not have a whiteboard. Okay, here I can choose whether my students can upload or download files in the room and also give them uh, roles of presenters if they uh, have to make a presentation or present their project. Uh, maybe Eva here, I will ask you what do you think about the teacher's controls? How, how do you use them? Uh, I love the teacher um, controls. They're really useful, um, especially when, um, as you said, uh, your students have to do some kind of presentations. As you can see, for all of you that are observing uh, now, um, 
and you can see the tools on Veronica's um, uh, page and the screen that she's sharing. It, it, it's all very simple. So um, you don't really have to have a lot of technological knowledge um, to be able to use Vedamo. And that's one of the features that I really, really love. Um, and the fact that all the students, whether they're adults or younger um, students, they can all use it without any problems. Uh, you just allow them to um, do what works for you in that given lesson. So definitely the controls are amazing, especially if um, there are maybe some background noises, for example, um, in the students' rooms or something like that, from their homes, I mean. Um, then you can sometimes maybe turn off their microphone or something like that if you have a listening uh, activity, especially for the language teachers, they'll know what I'm talking about. So um, <laughs> that, that really helps. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for sharing. Uh, maybe now it's time uh, to hear your point of view. Uh, you Actually, um, have... Veronica, I'm sorry, just yeah. before before you go on to that, let me just ask a question that came up is just about the okay. limit, limit to the number of participants, students or observers that can be involved in a session. Uh, if you use um, the premium version of the virtual classroom, the limit is up to 25 participants with video conference connection. But if you use the webinar tool, you can have uh, participants with video conference connection. And I don't think there is any limit about the observers. Okay, great. Thank you. But if you want to make an interactive training, and to engage uh, each participant, I would recommend uh, to work with up to 12 participants, as it is in traditional training. If you want to make interactive training, that then up to 10 or 12 participants will be the optimum number. OK? OK, thank you. Uh, so Eva is founder and uh, teacher in her own online academy. This is Area Online Education. Uh, and there she conducts uh, courses in English as a second language and German as a second language. And she works with the Vedamo Virtual Classroom uh, for a year and a half, I think. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes, yes, exactly. Okay, uh, could you please share with us why why did you choose Vedamo for your online academy? Well, as I already mentioned, I really wanted something that was very simple to use. So um, I teach adults and it's still quite hard for adults to accept that online learning is pretty much the same as traditional one, especially if you're doing these yeah. live to live classes and face to face things over um, the internet. Uh, so I really wanted something that was very simple. And then I booked uh, the um, like a demo uh, session with one of your um, customer support, uh, one of the member of the team. So um, they showed me what um, all the features are and how I can use it. And I just fell in love with it. And um, I tell everyone about Vedemo because as I said, uh, it's very simple, it's very clean and clear, and when you're teaching languages, um, you really need a lot of different options. And um, you mentioned breakout rooms. This is amazing for teaching languages uh, because you really need to have some group work and pair work um, to do with those. And um, also the live interaction is really important in my area of teaching. So that's why I think Venamo is perfect for that. Uh, thank you very much. We are really happy to hear this feedback. And uh, what would you share with uh, our uh, observers right now? Some tips, some interesting uh, experience you, you have as an online teacher? Uh -huh. Well, um, I would say that uh, when it comes to your students, um, I, um, every single one of my students who um, gets here for the first time, they all, they all say, wow, this looks so cool and it's so simple. I couldn't have imagined that it would be um, like this. Um, as I said, breakout rooms are one of my favorite features as well. And um, I would say that um, um, 
for me, I mostly use virtual classrooms here, although there are some other features as well. You can upload different materials for your students to download and then they can do different kinds of assignments. There is also the quiz option, which I really love. And um, it's uh, specifically designed, I would say, for learners and for teachers of languages, because when you teach languages, it's not this, you can't really uh, do a lot if you only have multiple choice questions and things like that. So there are many <laughs> gap fill exercises. You can do listening comprehension, reading comprehension, and all sorts of things with the quizzes options as well. So um, these would be my favorite things about it. Um, as for tips, um, I don't think you really need to be very technology savvy um, to be able to use Vedamo and to be able to make the most of it. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much for, for your feedback and uh, for sharing uh, this with us. Uh, I will just uh, show you now why Vedamo, especially in com combination with Canvas, can support uh, the work of teaching organizations, the teachers and the students. Uh, well, first of all, you can reach more students online, no matter their location, with the same or less resources. Uh, you can also, as a teaching organization, save a lot of costs. Costs uh, for facilities, logistic, overheads, operational costs, and so on. And it is a great and flexible way to conduct office hours, uh, follow-up session, and consultations uh, easily, because you don't have to meet uh, physically uh, somewhere. You just open your laptop and uh, can easily, flexibly uh, do it. The teachers, they have all the tools to make uh, their training interactive and engaging. Uh, also, as you see, they have full control over the participants' actions. And uh, the lesson templates save a lot of time for preparation because they can create and reuse uh, their lessons as many times as they need. And it also has benefits for the students because they can work uh, on flexible schedules uh, with the possibility to attend the sessions from anywhere, especially for adult learners who are busy and uh, who have a lot of uh, tasks to do. It's a very flexible way to participate in trainings. Uh, because of um, the live interaction, because of the uh, immediate feedback and the personal support, uh, the motivation of the students increases. And uh, maybe they all, we should say that they participate in safe and secure in environment from the comfort of their home, which is uh, great. Okay, now I'm going to share with you uh, an interview, a short interview with uh, one of our first users. Uh, this is Gus Wirt, who is a um, university lecturer and who has also his own online academy for English as a second language. Um, and he has a lot of experience both in traditional classroom and with online training. Uh, just uh, we'll stop our videos and we'll... Sorry. Could you please uh, please uh, say a few words about uh, your teaching experience? The first one I can remember using is the Atlas system, which was fairly basic. It was in the university, and then I, I, I moved on to Blackboard. But uh, unfortunately, in my university, most of the, most of the professors don't use it. I think what happens is they, even if they've done the training, they they, they seem to forget how to do it. You know, after a while. Uh, it's complicated and, you know, there's no real live video element to it. The, the IT department still thanked me for, for using it, you know. You, you said that you teach at a university, but you also have your own online teaching business. I, I use Vedemo, for, you know, for, it, it's for mostly English language training. Everything that you can need, like sharing documents, sharing screen, 
listening to sound files, listening to videos, uh, creating your own text, writing in your own handwriting is even feasible. You can see the person, you can talk to them, you can see their name in, in front of you, you never forget their name. The support is just one click away and it's the support no teaching and they know students. What do you think uh, makes uh, Vedamo better than the other platforms you, you have used? It's easy to find the tools. It's easy to remember what the tools are for. It, you know, whereas some of the more complicated platforms, you're continually forgetting how to do things. It's very, it's very easy to keep order in, in, uh, in, the, in the virtual classroom. But you can do the technology quicker mm -hmm. in Vedamo. You can just press a button and the sound file comes up. Press a button and the video file comes up. You could set up your own school for an awful lot less than you would uh, a physical school. Even buying uh, whiteboards, buying chairs, buying tables, buying uh, you know, uh, video equipment, buying uh, overhead projectors, all of these things cost money. All of yeah. these are there in Vedamo. So it's, it's much easier and much more cost effective. What is the feedback uh, of your students? How do they feel uh, working in the virtual classroom? Well, yeah, a, a lot of them, a lot of them liked it, you know, simply because they could, they could, you know, turn up for class in their slippers. They didn't have to travel. They don't have to go out in the snow to the class. They, uh, they don't have to, you know, travel in the dark. But what I found with, with students was you get a rapport in Vedamo okay. very, very easily. They, I think they, they, they just like the idea that, that uh, they can do everything in their own home or in their own workplace. Sometimes it's even more enjoyable than the, than the physical classroom. <laughs> Okay. Great. That, that's a that's a great testimonial. Thank you, Veronica, and thank you, Gus, for uh, recording that. Um, I just wanted to uh, let everybody know we, we are at the the time limit, but uh, or the scheduled time. But we are going to continue. If you're able to stay on, we'd love to uh, have you stay on. We are going to be recording this whole session, and all the registrants will get uh, a link to it to to be able to watch it tomorrow. But um, again, if, if people do need to drop, then uh, then go ahead. Otherwise, we'll continue and, and finish off a bit, about another five minutes or so. So, Ron, Eric, let me put, just put the last slide up for people that do need to go. Um, where's the, the contact slide, Veronica, just to put that up real quick. Um, so if anybody wants to catch this real quickly, uh, fromandi at vidamo.com. Uh, I can help you arrange your, your live demo or you can do it online at this link. Um, and again, thank you for those that are able to attend and, and for those that are able to stick on, uh, continue on. To Veronica, thank you. Okay, thank you, Frank. So we will continue with uh, a step-by-step -step demonstration how to integrate the virtual classroom in uh, Canvas learning management system. So I will uh, just stop our videos and switch on the screen sharing. Can you see my screen now? Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, so first of all, you have to uh, make registration on Vedamo. So you go here to www.vedamo.com. When you go to pricing, you can choose between the free trial of the virtual classroom and the premium version. Uh, the free trial is for 30 days and it allows only one-to-one -one interaction and you will not have recordings of the session. If you choose to have the premium account, then you can work with up to 25 active participants in one virtual session. You will have additional storage and uh, uh, recordings of the sessions. So you just uh, fill in uh, and follow the steps and uh, this is how you create your account in Vedemo. Once you have account for a virtual classroom, you should log in. This is my account here and go to integrations. 
you will see here uh, all the platforms uh, which are uh, integrated with, with Venomo. So you have to choose Canvas. And all you need are these credentials here. And this is uh, done only once. So the next steps is to go to your Canvas learning management system. This is my free web-based Canvas uh, LMS. And I have here several, several courses. So if I want to have virtual classes in my course e-learning basis, basics, I have to go to settings. Then I open apps and search for Venomo here. Here it is. Then I click on add app and enter these credentials. Just copy and paste. This is only one time and it's ready. This is it. Now you will do everything from your Canvas account. So um, now the virtual classroom is integrated uh, in my Canvas. I have to go to my course modules and select where I want to have a virtual classroom session. For example, uh, I can choose to have a welcome session in my first module. I click the plus here. Then from the drop down menu, I select external tool, select Vedamo, and I uh, click on add item. I have to publish it. And now it will be visible for me and for my students. So as a teacher, I will start the virtual session here. And if my students enter the course, they will have join the session button. And when we schedule the virtual meeting, we can go uh, and work together. Uh, I want just to show you the recordings. So when uh, the session is over, uh, you can go on uh, the name and as you can see, here are the recordings. So within Canvas, you, you will have recordings of your virtual sessions. Very briefly, this is what you have to do in order to integrate uh, Canvas in uh, Vedamo. I think it's quite easy and takes uh, not more than five minutes. Maybe it's important to tell that if you are administrator of Canvas learning management system and you integrate Vedamo virtual classroom in your learning management system, it will be available in all courses and for all the teachers in uh, your academy. Okay. Actually, and Veronica, uh, just sort of related to that, um, the, back to the pricing, there was a couple questions about um, okay. sort of the, uh, the, the, the non-premium version you can get a premium version. We have a coupon, and we'll be sending out a, a, a specific coupon for a free premium version of the 30-day, uh, a 30-day free trial. Is the um, is the non-premium version available for longer than 30 days? If they just want to kind of use the basics for for longer than the a trial period? No, it's available only for 30 days. Okay, and then and then they either have to get the premium or or be done. Um, yeah. But one 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 one. Uh, um, sort of relevant w model for the pricing is that it's it, the, you, you're 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 leasing you're licensing a classroom, a single classroom that can be used by multiple people. So yeah. if you're if you're sharing or if you're a school that's not sure about it yet, you can have um, you know lined up one. You can pay the twenty five dollars for one classroom, and it could be used by six or five different periods during the day. Um, based on your 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 needs, so it's a very cost effective. You're not paying per per teacher, or you're not paying per student. It's a single classroom that you're licensing, and multiple people can use it. So it ends up being a pretty cost effective, I think, for for most users. That's yeah, right. Can I just jump in really quickly? Um, that's exactly what I did for uh, the first few months when I started using Vedamo. 
um, I just uh, license one and then um, you just share it with um, whom, whomever you're work, working with. So um, right. it, it's really easy. As you said, I have experience with that and it's, yeah, it's really cost effective. Yeah, great. Okay, um, Veronica, I think we need to, to wrap up. Any other last comments here or can you put up the last slide again? Uh, maybe I, I'm going just to share very briefly a few tips how to use Vedomo Virtual Classroom in Canvas. Um, so the, the instructional designers uh, say that uh, if you want to have a quality learning experience, you have to provide one hour live instructor-led session for every four hours of self-paced learning. And uh, Canvas plus Vedamo gives you this opportunity. Also, if you use the virtual classroom uh, in the Canvas uh, learning management system, it is a great way to apply the flipped classroom model. Uh, you can upload on Canvas uh, video lectures or uh, reading materials so that uh, your students uh, will acquire the knowledge uh, independently. And then when you meet in the virtual classroom, you will do discussion, exercises and uh, practice. This is uh, exactly how it's done in the traditional classroom. Uh, so the virtual classes are a great way to collect feedback from your students and uh, this will help you redesign and adapt your courses to their specific needs and their specific interests. And also it can be used not only for teaching and learning, but as I said, for office hours, consultation, Q&A sessions, which uh, will uh, again increase the quality of your online course. Okay, uh, so th these were very, very quick tips from our experience. And maybe it's time to address more questions if uh, we have. And no, I think, I think actually we're, we're, we're kind of out of time. So let's just, uh, we've answered okay. questions along the way that we've gotten. So um, maybe just put up the last resource slide and, uh, and then we can let people go. So um, I'll just finish up. Thank you again, Veronica and, uh, and Eva in particular for your insights and information. Uh, here's our contact information, Veronica at Virakeva at Vedamo and myself, F. Ramondi at Vedamo.com. Um, we'd love to go into more detail, do a live demo with you. Um, so you can do that at canvas.vedamo.com slash VC dash demo. So please go there and schedule a demo and we'll get it, uh, we'll get it set up for you. Or if you just like to uh, do uh, explore yourself, of course, you can go to vedamo.com. Um, but again, I'd uh, just leave this up here, but thank you again, everybody, for your attendance today. We appreciate your time, and uh, hopefully we'll see you online again soon. Have a great day. Thank you, Frank. Take, thank you, Eva. It was a great pleasure to see you here, and I hope uh, we gave useful information to our observers. Indeed. All right, thank bye -bye. you. Bye-bye.